Nina, how's it going at the campaign office today? Do we have any calls for interviews? Any questions? Um, I'm really sorry, Liza, but still nothing. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Not one request for an interview today? I I'm sure things will pick up with the campaign heating up and all. Yeah, Nina, but that's not a good sign. I mean, if I'm running for mayor and I can't get the message out there, what chance do I have? Well, it's all about the money, isn't it? Yeah, well, unfortunately, that's all politics is these days. Money. But I'm sure that the people will come through for us in the end, Liza. Um, Nina, have you met any of the people lately? You just have to stay on message, and your message is strong. I want good things for this city. I want good schools, good infrastructure, good police, good community relations. And what does Clarence Majors want in his unprecedented fourth term as mayor? More corruption and favors for his big-time buddies? Well, I still say that there's hope. I still say that we have a shot at this thing. It's early, Nina. You can still do this thing. I know I can. I'm on a mission. And with your help, Nina, and the help of the staff, we can make a real difference in this community we love. If... If? If we can avoid the dirty tricks of Mayor Majors and men like him. Like that bag man of his, Fleming. Where did Fleming come from, anyway? He seems like he's been around forever. That's because he has been around forever. Fleming has been stirring up trouble in local politics for as long as I've been alive. So what kinds of stuff does he get up to? Bribes, lies, propaganda, shady campaign tactics, fear-mongering, whatever will get his candidates elected. Well, if we can get past Fleming and get into office, maybe we can finally put forth the reforms that will keep men like him away from public office for good. Yes, well, we have to win first. And to win, we have to convince the people of this great city to give us a shot at it. Then let's get back to it. Soon to be Mayor Liza Ray. So, Fleming, how are things going? Is everything as it should be? Yes, sir. Of course, sir. The polls are right what they should be for this time in the campaign. Excellent, excellent. In this first debate on Tuesday evening, I'm certain that the field will be cleared entirely. Well, um, that's wonderful. However, I must say that I'm beginning to be slightly concerned about this Liza Ray woman. Oh, well, don't worry about her, sir. She's just a flash in the pan. The people of this city know a fake when they see one. I don't know. I really do feel like she's gaining some traction. Especially among young people. Even my little brother's kids were talking about her. And they couldn't give a darn thing about politics. Hmm, I see. Well, I assure you, sir, polls go up and down. Um, yes, Fleming. I know that polls go up and down. I've been doing this for a long time. Okay, sorry, sir. I just wanted to reassure you that we have this under control. You have what under control? For your victory, sir. Your future. Oh, yeah? And what this time? Voter intimidation? Misleading advertising? How are you gonna muck up this system on my behalf this time, Fleming? Well, sir... We could do it in any number of ways. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you just go ahead and pick your own this time? I've got enough of a guilty conscience. Nina, have you seen this new TV spot that the Majors campaign is running? Yes, Nina, I know, and I'm on hold with their campaign office as we speak. How can they get away with that? With that race-baiting ad? That is so wrong. I have a feeling I know who's behind it. Who, though? Who do you think it could be? I mean, I know that they have some pretty shady operators in that campaign, but I really can't believe that any of them would resort to that. Well, they would if it was Fleming. Fleming? Who is that? I've never heard of him. You've never heard of Fleming? No. What's his last name? Who is he? Well, no one is really sure of his last name, or where he comes from for that matter. What's that supposed to mean? Some say he's of Lebanese descent, others say Russian. I know it makes no sense, but the man is a mystery. He's a citizen of nowhere. So he just comes into these campaigns to use his dirty tricks against people? Yep, that's pretty much exactly what he does. He started out in the Nixon campaign back in 72. Some say that he was the person most responsible for his landslide victory. Well, how are we going to counteract this? I mean, how do you fight a campaign that has zero integrity and lies like they breathe? Do we fight fire with fire? Take the high road? What? Well, we have a number of options, Liza, but they could be risky. Risky? How so? 
Well, Mayor Majors was directly tied to the losing of the shoe factory, right? Well, maybe not directly, but he had a part in it to play, that's for sure. Then we need to hit him on that. You mean run ads about the factory? Yes, of course. We need to tie him directly to the closing of that factory. We need to show his voters who he's really fighting for. Well, it's certainly not the people of this city, that's for sure. So what would this ad look like? Not too sleazy, right? I don't want it to look like some of these other candidates, you know? Well, I can have the team start working on a script today, then we'll see what the editors come up with. How's that sound? I'm nervous about this, Nina. I want to bring positive change to this community, not inject more negativity. I understand, Liza. You want to take the high road. Yes, exactly. There's simply too much of the opposite. Okay, we'll do our best. Fleming, just what in the hell is this crap that I am currently watching on my office television? Yes, sir. We are aware of Liza Ray's new advertisement. We're working on a response as we speak. Oh, well, isn't that great? I'm awfully happy that you are. Because do you have any idea how badly this could all hurt me in the polls? Yes, we understand. Believe me, sir, we're on top of it. Oh, you're on top of it, are you? Well, I'm so glad that someone in this campaign is, because I'm on the bottom. Sir, your base will never believe these ads. They will be on your side regardless. But what if it comes out, Fleming? What do we do then? What happens if what comes out, Mr. Mayor? Don't you know, Fleming? Aren't you aware of what I made on that stupid shoe factory closing? Yes, the kickbacks. They may prove difficult to hide. So then what are we going to do when this city looks into her ad? What are we going to do when somebody actually does some research? Some journalist or something? What then? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, sir. In the meantime, I suggest that we come up with our response right away. What are you talking about? Another ad? Responding to that one up in the ante? How else can we get the word out to the voters that you had nothing to do with closing that factory? And that it was, in fact, her party who benefited from it? Damn it, Fleming. More lies. It's the only way, sir. This game is zero-sum. Yeah, <sighs> Fine, fine. Just write it. But all of this is really starting to make me feel bad all over Fleming. What is, sir? What do you mean? The crazy ads and focus group speeches, the campaigns. I'm afraid I'm getting a little too old for this. But, sir, we're leading in the polls. You're a very popular mayor. Sure, with half of the people. The other half are going to hate my stinking guts no matter what I do. This is American politics in its purest form, mayor. Yeah, just go write the ad. I'll be napping in my office. Sir... What if we tried something else? Something else? Yes, um, would you like for me to explain it to you? No, Fleming. The less I know, the better. Haven't you figured that out by now? Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Um, Liza, we need to talk. We have a serious issue on our hands. I know, I know, the fundraiser. I still need to talk to Mr. Williamson about the fundraising speech. No, Liza, it's not that. It's... Well, do you know anyone named Brian Ellis? Brian... Ellis? Yes, um... Are you aware of him? Yes, I... I went to college with him. And did you have some type of a relationship with him? Uh, yes. So I'm guessing that you're going to tell me that the Majors campaign dug something up? Yes, um... They did. All right, so what? I followed Fish around for a few years in the 90s. Big deal. Yes, but, um, you were also involved in some radical political organizations, were you not? I was young. Who doesn't have a lot of crazy ideas when they're young? I suppose that everyone does, but there are photos, Liza. Photos? Photos of what? Of you? Well, in the thick of hippiedom. Look, I was a different person back then. I've changed a lot. Yes, I can see from the photos. What do you mean? There's nudes in there? Um, just a few. Yes. I don't understand. How did he get any of this stuff? I don't even have pictures from those years. It's hard to say with Fleming. He has contacts everywhere. He knows everyone. So what is he going to do with that information? Release it? I don't know, but I can only imagine he will. But no paper is going to print something like that, especially not our local papers. Well, you don't need anything local anymore. All you need is a Wi-Fi connection and social media these days. With that, you can change the world. Yes, or destroy the world. 
Yes, or that, of course. Okay, so let's just assume that everyone in town is going to know soon that I was a dirty hippie in college. That would be a good assumption to make. Okay, then great. So let's plan for that. What do we say to our voters who's offended by it? I suppose what you're saying now, that you've changed, that you're a different person, that you've learned from the errors of your ways and you are now on the straight and narrow. But I'm not so sure that I have learned from the errors of my ways. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm still a bit of a hippie in a lot of ways. Well, um, I think it would be best if you just tried to forget about all of that. But what if I can't help it, Nina? What if this is just who I am? I mean, what am I really doing here if I can't be me? The people aren't electing you to be you, Liza. They're electing you to represent them. But how can I just put all of that aside? Everything that makes me me just because some people won't vote for it? Didn't you ever have a popularity contest in high school, ma'am? Well, not any that I associated with. Well, that's all that politics really is. It's a popularity contest. But do you remember anything about the popular kids from high school? Sure, they were all a bunch of jerks. Exactly, and in politics, may the most popular jerk win. So then you're suggesting that I act like a jerk then? No, I'm simply suggesting that you become more popular. Oh, okay, great. And how do you think I would go about doing that? By giving the people what they want, what they crave, without even realizing they're craving it. Which is? The truth. Hello, Miss Ray. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with the Daily Post today. Oh, well, it's my pleasure. You know, it's always exciting to talk to a member of the media. Yes, well, we always do appreciate the access that you give us. You know, not all of the candidates are like you in that regard. Oh, really? You've been having trouble getting access to some of them? Let's just say that it can be very difficult to get certain politicians to sit down for a free and fair exchange of ideas. And my opponent in the race is quite possibly one of these people? Well, as an objective journalist, it wouldn't be my place to make any judgments. Right, of course, I respect that. And speaking of fairness and objective judgments, I have to ask you about the photos. Yes, the photos of me in my earlier years, I'm assuming is what you're talking about? Yes, exactly. I can see how getting those released would be rather embarrassing to you and your campaign. Why is that? How do you figure? Well, it's just that seeing you in all of those compromising situations, the, uh, armpit hair? You know, honestly, Carol, and you can quote me on this. Okay, yes, go ahead. Well, I mean, sure, I shave them now, but back in the day? Nope. And guess what? I have zero shame about it. Oh, um, well, as is your prerogative. I'll go one step further for you. Here's a great quote for you. You can lead with this one. Being anti-women's body hair is being anti-women. Do you really think so? Of course, hair is a natural thing. The offensive thing should really be to destroy and mess with the natural order of things. Well, that is a very unique position. Why, thank you. But do you think that the suburban women who you need to carry you to the finish line will like it? Well, I'm not sure about that just yet. We haven't market tested the tactic yet. Now, your opponent, the incumbent Mayor Majors, says that you don't have the moral gravitas for the job of mayor. Oh, he said that, did he? Yes, he said, and I quote, She thinks she can run this city when she can't even run a bootleg t-shirt stand. Oh, well, what does he know about me? I thought that bootleg t-shirt stand was very specific. Have you run one at a certain point? Yes, as a matter of fact, at the fish shows we did. So, breaking the law then? Well, yes, I suppose I did. But I was a young person, and I think a lot of young people make very poor decisions all the time. It's not right that they have to pay for them for the rest of their lives, though, is it? Even in politics? So, you don't believe that your judgment back then could affect your judgment now? No, ma'am, not at all. Well, I believe those are the only questions that I have at the time. Do you have any questions for me? I don't know. I guess not. Okay, well, 
You wanted to be honest to the public. You're being about as honest as a politician can get. Now I'll just have to see if it works. Um, hey Liza. Is everything okay? Of course, Nina. Why would anything be wrong? Well, it's just that I just read the interview that you did with Carol Unger and it was a little odd. What was so odd about it, Nina? You mean that I was actually totally 100% honest for once? Unlike all the other candidates who just lie and try to be whoever the person they're talking to wants them to be. Well, that is the way we usually do it in politics, yes. Well, not me. I'm done with this entire phony facade. But what does that mean? So that means that you're dropping out? Dropping out? No, definitely not. I intend to stay in this race until the end. You better believe that. But Liza, you won't stand a chance now. Have you seen the polls since the article came out? No, and I don't care about the polls. Either the people of this city are going to make a wise decision or they aren't. But either way, that's the decision that they're going to make and it's not up to me to decide. That's democracy in action. But Liza, don't you understand? You're throwing away your entire campaign. I'm not throwing anything away, Nina. I'm saving it. After conceding her campaign, Liza decided to take a long break from public life and reassess her goals. After deciding that she didn't want to spend her career running in a popularity contest, she quit politics for good. She now works for a nonprofit which helps shoe the homeless and indignant.